Hi guys, I'm Taz, and I finally get to do one of these I'm vlog things. Everyone else has done one, some have even done two, but now it's my turn. You looking forward to watching this then? I am, although you're a bit early. What? Well, it's supposed to start on the hour, and it's currently 59 minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah, but I'm ready to watch it now. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, shall we? 6, 5, 4, 3. Shall we just get on with watching it? Sure. <laughs> Two seconds late. Sid! Anyway, I'm sure that it's worth the wait. So, here it goes. What makes me mad? Well, I'd like to say that I'm one of life's effortlessly chilled people who gets mad at nothing. What are you doing? Look at this mess. Maybe there has been a few occasional moments where I've let myself get wound up by people. She is a complete nightmare. <gasps> like when I first arrived here. I don't think I was exactly at my best that day. Pat. I think I came across as a bit Moody? Moody? You could say that. Or you could say totally out of control. Don't be mean, Floss. Yeah, we all know arriving at this place isn't exactly easy. I had no idea what Ashton Ridge would be like. But one thing that I really didn't expect was that someone would take the time so, to try and get to know me. Tasman. It's Taz. I didn't make it easy for Jodie. This is cool. But she stuck at it. Yeah. She tried to find things to cheer me up. It used to help me sleep when I first got here. You know, if I was scared of anything. For some strange reason, Jodie just got me. Right, let's see what you're made of. And because she was so thoughtful, it made me think that maybe life here wouldn't be as bad as all that. And I hope one day I can pass on the kindness she showed me. If someone else is having a bad first day in the future. Anyway, let's move on. My thing? Let's just say it's a bit complicated. Did you ever have something that makes you amazingly happy and really, really sad at the same time? Well, that's what playing the piano is like for me. Making music is just the best. I even enjoy practicing, that feeling that you're getting better at it. But the trouble is, it also brings back so many sad memories. That's why it's complicated. When I first came to the DG, I didn't ever play the piano. No one even knew that I could. But I liked the feeling that I could play it, if I wanted to. Which made Mike's latest brainwave such a terrible idea. Nobody ever plays it. It's going somewhere to be used. Well, I think we should keep it. You haven't given me one good reason why. Well, it it looks nice. It's old. Well, you're old and we're not getting rid of you, are we? Taz, what is so special about this piano, eh? I tried to keep my disappointment hidden. I even hatched a crazy plan to hide it in the garage. But that was never going to work with certain people on the prowl. What are you doing? Face it, nothing gets past these eyes and ears. It's like a superpower. Yeah, super snooper more like. To be fair to Mike, even though his piano selling idea was one of his worst, he did notice that it had upset me. My dad used to teach me. But when mum and dad Stop. Stuffed everything. It's just sad all the time. Like I say, it's complicated. Me and the piano. But imagine when you grew up, that was your job. How awesome would that be? <laughs> Although I know from experience, it wouldn't be that easy. You need to get yourself out there. Make sure that people can hear what you can do. 
And that can sometimes mean thinking outside the box. And outside the rules. I know I shouldn't have snuck off into town like that, but it was an emergency. I thought Dad was short of money, and that maybe I could help. No. My dad means everything to me. I'm an only child, so he's all I've got. He's kind <laughs> and clever. Last time you came up to here. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> and loads and loads of fun to be with. Thank you for taking such great care of her. And my mum's amazing too. Was amazing. I would have loved the chance to spend more time with her. But... I was really little when she got sick. And, you know. But what I have found is that I remember more about her than I think I do. Like that weird singing thing in my sleep that I do sometimes. Confused. Floss recorded it when I was asleep. I mean, what am I even singing here? I've even tried playing it backwards. It sounds like a different language. All we know is that you were born in the Philippines. Well, the truth is, Taz, there's not much. There's 17 official languages there. 17? It had looked hopeless trying to figure it out. Until... What are you doing? Well, you've been doing little actions with your hands. But what do they mean? It looks like, it looks like I'm eating something. It was crazy. The weird hand movement thingy was the key to the secret all along. <laughs> M-A-N-I. It's a peanut. In Tagalog. Wait, that's it. Bahai kubo kahit mun. <laughs> it was my mum! I remember now! It's a rhyme about food. My mum used to sing it to me when I was little. That was pretty cool detective work from Chloe. Hang on. It was me who sneakily crept into our room and filmed her, even though I knew she didn't want me to. So I should get some credit too. Super Snooper does it again. <laughs> OK, so what do we have now? It's always hard to admit your weaknesses. But what I've learned about myself is that sometimes I can get a little over competitive. I wouldn't say you're over competitive. Really? No, it's much, much worse than that. More like absolutely desperate to win and a terrible loser. <sighs> Go home. Go home! Yes! <laughs> so, yeah, I do love winning. And that means that losing can make me a bit cross. You know, it's actually much more difficult to improve your golf when your club is smashed into tiny little pieces. Did I talk all the way through your vlog? Which was less good than mine anyway, actually. Sometimes it can even be some of the silliest things that bring out my competitive side. Like making slime. I didn't know you knew how to make slime. Yep, it was a scientific experiment. Science and slime. The perfect combination. I'm inventing a new slime recipe for a science contest. Young scientist, brackets, northeast region. Deadline's 4 p.m. today. What's the prize? A life-size robot called Robert. Oh, cool. Can I help? I'm excellent at science. <laughs> oh, I am. It's not even that I'm competitive all the time. It's just when certain people press my buttons, then I 100% have to beat them. I simply had to beat Joseph at the slime challenge. Whatever it took. Yep. 
That's icing sugar. Oh, I thought it was corn flour. Rule number one of science. Read the labels first. I may have got so desperate to be the DG Slime Queen and get one over on Joseph that I started to think about some shortcuts. So yeah, he got me so mad that I cheated a tiny bit. I present to you Taz's... Rainbow Unicorn Super Slime Rama. Oh, you cheated. But uh, mine was too thin. It's supposed to be your own recipe. That's the rule. Why are the measurements in American Joseph? Huh? Cups, not grams. You printed this off the internet. Mine was too thick. You really shouldn't cheat, you know? Yeah, I know. But we both did it, though. Anyways, my cheating was much better than his. I did learn an important lesson that day, which is when it comes to making slime, it's not the winning that matters. It's the taking part. Oh. <laughs> well, this one's simple. My dream is to be with my dad. I love being with him. He's got so many stories and things to teach me. So you were helping Grandad at the restaurant? That's right. And it had been a long day. We were all exhausted. But then these two women rushed in. I said, we're close, but, well, your mom wouldn't take no for an answer. Dad, why are you crying? <laughs> Although, I know he's not ready to look after me yet. Excuse me? The time may not be right yet, but it will be one day. And, you know, even if he wants to get married again, it's fine by me. Whatever makes him happy. As long as he lets me help him do the picking. That's one thing he certainly can't be trusted to do on his own. And you go, Taz. When he's ready, I'll be ready too. Until then, the DG will do just fine. More than that, this place is home with loads of friends who've become like family and never a dull moment. Plus loads of people to beat at stuff. What more could a girl ask for? Yay! So, that's me done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. That was good. Thanks. <laughs> and it's got me thinking. Right. About some recent advances in slime research? Well, I bet Scott and May Lee would love to take part in an important experiment. Just what I was thinking. We owe it to science to find out 